talk to me, Goose. Like, maybe explain why I've got rocket pods equipped instead of missiles. There was a Congo line. This is the map for dogfighting now. Let's go back into the city. Well, 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 Battlefield 2042 finally has some new content in the portal mode of the game. That's the mode that features previous Battlefield's content, and here we've got some new content in the Battlefield 2042 1.1 patch from Battlefield 3. We've got the remastered A-10 Warthog and the remastered Su-25 Frogfoot, the ground attack aircraft for the Russians and the Americans. Before we talk more about these new attack jets, as well as the new air superiority game mode and game mode options in Battlefield Portal here in the 2042 patch, let's give a short shout out to the sponsor of this video, a longtime sponsor here on the channel. It's the custom PC builder that built my PC that I'm using to record this video right now. All the gameplay that you see here was recorded on my Apex gaming PC. These guys at Apex are known for their attention to detail, as well as their use of only name brand quality PC parts. I also set up three pre-approved builds with the Apex Gaming team that I went over and spec'd out specifically to play games like Battlefield super, super well. You guys can buy any of these PCs and be confident that they're going to run the games that you see here on my channel really well. There's three configuration options for those Ranger Dave pre-approved builds. And if you use the code Ranger Dave on checkout, you can save up to 250 bucks off the cost of your new PC. You can find all of that info at the link at the top of the description. It wouldn't be some throwback content without nerfing the plane's abilities just a bit. The front cannons have quite a bit of spread, much like the cannons on Battlefield 2042's default jets. But the surprising thing is here, the physics for these two new old planes aren't carbon copies of the not great jet physics from the base 2042 game. It looks like DICE has actually tried to replicate the handling and turn speed of these jets from Battlefield 3. Back in those games, if you kept your speed at roughly about 313 or so, you could make the tightest turns possible. This strategy seems to work pretty well with the A-10 and the Su-25 both. It's going to get you the tightest turning radius if you are maintaining that speed and turning at full tilt, but I don't think it's been added yet to the F-18 and the Su-35. Turning those still feels kind of awkward, and in fact, now that we have, I think it's like three different jet physics systems in different parts of Battlefield 2042 and Portal, uh, it's really hard to switch from jet to jet because they all feel so different. But I can't lie, it is pretty awesome to have these classic Battlefield 3 jets back. And although I was looking forward to a nice, relaxing, nostalgia trip, apparently I wasn't the only person excited to see these things return, along with air superiority mode, because... I got into some absolutely wild dogfights as soon as I hopped in, and me being totally rusty with these jets, I was getting absolutely stomped for a while before I finally started to get a bit of a handle on how things are working. 
having the option in Portal to make air superiority mode is pretty cool as well, but I only saw a couple of these servers go up on day one because they had an official tile for it where you could just match make and then it was pulled down in favor of tank superiority. So I've been having to dig around for people's custom portal servers and just hope that we get enough players to get the game going. So yeah, low population is hurting the portal servers still, but I am so excited to see a lot more people playing the Battlefield 3 portal content right now. I finally managed to get a full round in on a Battlefield 3 rush server. There's a classic game mode for you. Although oddly, this creator had filled the server full of 32 players and then like 80 some bots so it was a bit wild and the server wasn't performing great but it was still amazing to see battlefield 3 back in action although i guess this is also a bad company 2 map but whatever it's portal the rules are made up and it was a lot of fun i'm probably just gonna cut this out of the footage but this match just started and I've been in a turn fight with this A-10 for a couple of minutes already. Ooh, almost got caught out of the play area there. Yeah, we're just really evenly matched here. We keep getting pieces of each other. That's it. And there he goes again. This map also has a tiny tiny skybox for us to fly in. There's a lot of circling here. Oh, and yeah, the fog is ridiculous. Oh, here we go. Alright, we have too many shots there at the start. I don't think handling is affected when you get super damaged. I think it's just normal health. Um, Battlefield 3, I think your handling would, would get a lot worse if you were that damaged. You also don't have the vehicles self-destruct when they get down to like 10 health. Oh, here we go. Nice. Yeah, that was a great dogfight. That was super evenly matched. Props to him. Of course, I'm <laughs> super rusty, so I'm not sure that's a compliment. <laughs> Alright, let's do some ground support here. This is a full 32 player server, but with just a stupid amount of AI too for some reason. I invite you to return immediately, soldier. It is just absolute chaos down there. We have taken out half the enemy's resources. <laughs> There's also quite a few little glitches going on with the new planes, like I can't use the, um, the free look in the SU-25, and on the A-10, the rocket pods, the cursor is like 40 degrees misaligned. It's, it's impossible to use. So yeah, so little glitches here and there. Hopefully that gets ironed out in next month's patch, but hey, we got some new planes, so... This is a absolutely Enemy terrible map for visibility, too. Oh, they've got one of those little drone choppers up. That was close. Oh, holy crap, look at them all. Oh, man. That is way too many players for Rush. AI or not. Hit markers are kind of delayed too. I think the poor server is just struggling with all this. Probably actually up the contrast on this footage for you guys so you can see. Oh, I've got no EMP or no ECM. EMP. <laughs> okay. And we got one missile off, thankfully. Yeah, the skybox is just really tiny because it's it's rush. I mean, that at least makes sense. Just trying to do a hit and run here. 
Oh, wow, he's locked in from a long ways away. So we can get low enough to... Nope. <laughs> oh, it's the little bird. I thought it was a stinger. All right, they're arming. I'm going to go down on the ground for a minute and just see what's up. Oh, that would have been cool. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, that drone chopper's up again. One charge down. Oh, there's so many. Just hiding his ragdoll here. Sweet. Just walk right through this tracer fire. Yeah, this is so many bots. This is nuts. At least they lowered the drone's armor. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back up in the air soon, I think. Oh yeah, hit markers feel super delayed when you're shooting the AI. That is a tank. <laughs> he just he just killed his Blackhawk. What is that spawn right in the middle of the map? That A10's already dumping flares, so that should be an easy kill. Did he out turn my missiles? get buffed? Nope. Don't think so. The base jet games cannons were supposed to get a bit of a buff in this patch. These choppers are locking from every angle and you cannot see them in this fog. This is like the worst visibility ever for flying. This is the map I got. Oh hey, Prelick actually works though. Dump an ECM. We have your support package. <laughs> yeah, the server's starting to struggle again. Yeah, no damage or hit marker at all there. Didn't realize that drone had flares too. I don't remember that. Kill with no, no uh, actual kill there. Not sure what's going on with the kill feed. I just whiffed all that lead. The guy's gonna dump his ECM. Oh no, it's over. Okay. Saved by the missiles. Yeah, I feel like these cannons have not gotten tweaked yet. It's... I don't know, it's hard to say. It could just be the server, but yeah, if you burst, you get more hit markers, okay. Nah, they just haven't been tweaked yet. Oh, there's a kill, finally. Yeah, that's just not worth your time. Alright, they got some air vehicles up, finally. Oh, 16 tickets left, too. Might hold him on this narrow part of the map here. There goes the Apache. I advise you to return immediately, soldier. Enemy charges are armed. Oh, they have a little bird up. Did that hit me? I can't tell what happened there. Oh, yeah, the Blackhawk is crashed. I must have hit it. Bots. It does add some pretty cool ambience, but it also adds a lot of lag. 
You can just tell this server is chugging. Let's just get back in the air here. That cannon melted that little bird. That was perfect. Come back, soldier. Who's locking me out here, though? Spent most of this game doing air targets here. Not much ground support. I got an F-18 up. Okay. So longer lead with the 30 mil or the 25. Oh, I, I whiff that. Oh, I whiff that hard. Oh, he's gonna outturn me. Oh, he is definitely gonna outturn me. I've already lost him. Yeah, he's right behind me now. Nah, screw it. Let's go for it. Into the trees. Oh, I lost him. All right. Oh, no, the timer. Oh, oh, oh we got the kill, too. Oh, I lost him, too. He had no idea where I was. <laughs> All right, there he goes. Right into the cliff. Okay, so it's not just me trying to relearn these physics. Frogfoot again. I was going for that second little bird spawn kill. They've got multiple little birds up. There he is. Another ghost kill with no kill feed. What is going on? Still 90 tickets left because they capped that middle point. Oh, the destruction, all the shacks exploding. That's awesome. Why am I getting lock tones from our deployment? I advise you to return immediately, suffering heavy losses. The reserves are low. Yeah, I'm still getting locks in the back corner of the map. Oh, I dodged it. I think, yep, dodged it. Oh, it's not the little bird. Who is it? I thought it was the little bird in front of me. Oh, there's an Apache over our spawn. Does our team realize that we have an air show going on over our deployment? <laughs> I'll just grab this Z11, try and find some of these choppers. That little bird is smoking. Oh, the server just tried to fire two missiles at the same time. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, look at them all. That's what's going on. It's the AI swarms. What is happening <laughs> to this server? Oh, okay. It's over. That's why. Oh, man. I felt like it was about to crash out there. Oh, there we go. Damage repaired. Good call, Battlefield. Good call. All right, well, there you have it. Some new vehicles there in Battlefield Portal. Uh, still needs a bit of uh, bug fixing and tweaking, but good times. Good times indeed.